What's up fam? It's Nick here, just out selling. So what I want to talk a little bit about is what you do when you don't have a solution to sell. So when I say that, when you encounter a person that goes, hey, I already have all that, or hey, I don't need all this, whatever. It doesn't matter what they say. It could work for anything, pest control, you know, any kind of service. You really can't do it with an item. So for example, a roof or solar, they can't say, you know, that they say to you, hey, I already got solar. Well, you can see it on their house. Hey, I already just got a new roof. They're not going to buy a new roof if they just bought a new roof last week. It's not going to happen. But services like pest control, insurance, uh, anything, lawn service, they could literally buy it today, cancel it, and buy yours. I have done that. And they can cancel any service before it's installed. I've done that many times myself. So, for example... When someone says, oh, I'm not interested, I already bought that, or I just signed the deal for this, your first question would be, okay, what was it? What are the specs? May I see the agreement? That way, you can pick out what the differences are, what matters, and ask the client, does it matter to you X, Y, Z, for example? Uh, in the actual live example, I'm use selling a fence. I went out to a, a home, this was years ago, but I'll never forget it. I went out to a home and I said, okay, I'm Nick, XYZ company, here to look at your fence. I measured it all up. There were already stakes in the ground. You know, someone has already measured this up and sold it pretty much. And I said, hey, I'm just going through this, ba 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 ba. You know, looks like you got some mark. He goes, yeah. He's like, I'm sorry, we already bought the fence. And I said, really? You know, that's kind of wild. Like, how'd you come up with that decision? The guy was like, well, the guy came out just like you're doing and went through everything. And I said, okay, well, you know, number one, who is it? Who is it for? Why? Well, I already knew the answer, but I knew that because of the flags that they put in the ground. I was like, all right, so you use XYZ company. And the guy was like, yeah, how'd you know that? And I said, uh, I just had a feeling. And he said, is, is that bad? And I said, well, it's not exactly good, but you know, good or bad, doesn't matter. And I, I, I kind of played it off like, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'd have done that. And then I asked him, you know, do you got your agreement? He said, okay, yeah, I'll show it to you. I said, okay, cool. I said, let's not, I just want to go through this and make sure, you know, you're getting exactly what you're expecting to get. And he said, well, why wouldn't I get what I'm expecting to get? I said, well, because the guy, did he go over this, 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 and this? And he said, no, he didn't tell me any of that. And I was like, oh, well, <laughs> there you go. There's a big difference. So I work up my price quote and I show them my quote, my price quote before I see the quote for the other guys. The reason I do that is because it makes me honest. My price is my price. It's not influenced by anything else. He goes, wow, you're a little bit more expensive. I said, yeah, it makes sense. And I, I, I said, that makes sense. We do everything this way and we, you know, we tell you about it. And we put it in writing, which I had a written up quote for. Well, he hands me the agreement and I tear it apart very simply and not in a bad way, just logically say, hey, they didn't state this, 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 and this, this is not complete, this is not clear, this is not this, there's no picture, we have no idea where anything's going. He goes, yeah, this is crazy. And I said, are you comfortable, you know, paying for something that, you know, pretty obvious on paper you have agreed to is different than what you talked about? You know, even the top, you know, even the style of fence is different it's written right here. This is not the style of fence you showed me a picture of. He goes, oh shit. I didn't even realize that. I said, yeah, like, you know, you wanted a, you know, a gothic style picket. This is a colonial gothic picket. It's a little different. He's like, oh shit, I don't like any of that. And I said, well, here's what I'll do. Give them a call and cancel the agreement, cancel the check, ask for a refund, whatever. And I'll write you up a new agreement. I'll take the exact same amount down payment that they already have and we'll come out and we'll do the fence right for you. The guy looked at me, he looked at his wife and his wife kind of comically, she was like, I told you to wait for this appointment. We're going with this guy. And I was like, thank you, Mrs. Wife. And she goes, yeah. And she's like, all right, I'll have it handled. We wrote up everything, signed it. I went out, I moved their little spikes out of the way, their little flags. I said, perfect put down our little flags, took pictures and left out of there, you know, a thousand dollars more than the other guy on, you know, 
$5,000 deal. We went out, we installed the fence perfectly. He got his refund. He was thrilled. You know, couldn't be better. All, all things good. There's a lot of salespeople that would have just quit as soon as they saw those little flags in the ground. They would have been like, oh man, he's already bought a fence from somebody else. We're going down. You know, there's no, there's no business here. It was easy business. It was lay down business here. You know, I made extra money because money wasn't the factor. It's what are they getting? That's the thing. So I didn't have anything to sell until I, I manufactured it. You know what I mean? When I showed up, that guy had already bought a fence. He was relatively happy with that idea that he purchased exactly what he wanted. He was happy. He was like, yeah, I bought a fence. It's going to be great. And then by asking him a few questions, I tore that whole thing apart and had their agreement been perfect or been, you know, more along the lines of ours or even a little more clear, I probably would have just said, yeah, man, this is a great deal. You know, I can see if I could do a little better for you price wise, but this is great. You know, these, this is a very thorough agreement. Had that been the case, that's all I would have said. I've been like, all right, let me see if I can beat their price. We'll do everything the exact same way. We'll just beat their price. If I could do it, which chances are good I couldn't because they're not doing everything we're doing. So they're doing it cheaper. And that's literally what I said to him. And he was like, wow, I really appreciate that. Let me know, you know, when we can get it installed. And he called and canceled and got his money back and sent it right to us. And I was like, that's how that's supposed to happen. But again, my point was there's so many salespeople that would have just quit. They'd have been like, oh, no, nope, he's already got XYZ's markers out here. It's it's a done deal. You know, he signed the paper. He gave the check. It's over. It ain't never over. It ain't never over. I mean, until they're there installing it or they've delivered the product, it ain't over yet. So, like I said, I went out, made the deal. That is the perfect example of doing your job thoroughly. Period. Thoroughly doing your job. You have to be able to connect to people. You have to be able to create urgency. You have to be able to create doubt. You have to be able to create certainty. It's very simple. But if you don't do these things, you will not sell. You will not be successful. If you want more examples or if you need help in this arena, feel free. Message me below. Send me a DM. I'm happy to help train you on these things. Now, yes, you're going to have to pay me. It's not free. I give away a lot of free stuff in my videos. But if you want hands-on training you got to pay for it, but it's worth every dollar. And the reason for that is very simple. If I teach you one concept one time and you apply it 10 times and it works, you know, say it works one time, you're going to make back money faster than you spend it. And that's the name of the game in business. It doesn't matter if you spend a billion dollars, if you make $2 billion, you won. People would spend that every day. If you said, all right, give me a dollar. I'll turn it into two bucks. Well, shit. Spend the money fast as you can. It's double. Get out there and sell something.